As a band, uh, I felt that aptly named, uh, it, it never took off for me musically. Uh, I think it's kind of heavy handed myself, and this, that's where the lead comes in. It's safe to say that the Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin are two of the most important and influential musical acts the world has ever seen. They would both carve out significant histories in music, becoming influential powerhouses for the future landscape of music globally. In the 60s, the Stones brought a blues sensibility to the British masses, evolving into a steely, rhythm-driven sound that would go on to help define rock and roll. In the 70s, Led Zeppelin would take the essence of rock and roll and ramp it up to 11 pioneering their way to introducing heavy rock and metal to the world. You'd think with both groups being so influential in their own rights, there'd be some sort of respect between the two. But no, not for Keith Richards anyway. Let's find out why he never got on board with Led Zepp and what started this hatred in the first place. Hi, I'm Adam. Welcome back to Music Mongoose. The first hint of Richards' disdain for the band came in 1969, just one year after Led Zeppelin had formed. In an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, he said, The guy's voice started to get on my nerves. I don't know why. Maybe he's a little too acrobatic. Now, it's important to say here that Keith's disliking of Led Zeppelin was purely based on the music they produced. In fact, for the individual members of the band, he had high praise. Uh, at the same time, Jimmy Page is one of the best guitar players I've ever known, and, and Barnum was a hell of a powerhouse uh, drummer. So why didn't he like the music? because his opinion certainly went against the grain. Over their career, they would sell 300 million records worldwide. They'd be cited as one of the most important and influential bands on the planet. They won tons of industry awards, they were inducted into multiple halls of fame, and are simply one of the most successful groups of all time. So clearly, Keith's opinion didn't reflect the majority. How could a fellow decorated musician like Keith Richards dislike their music so much? We did see a similar thing here on Music Mongoose a while ago with Pete Townsend of The Who not liking Led Zeppelin either. You can watch that video here, by the way. And in that video, we learned that Pete's hatred could have come from jealousy. You see, Led Zeppelin was the next generation on from The Who, and they ended up overshadowing and outselling The Who by some margin. Could this be a similar case of one generation innately hating the product of the next generation? Going back to how Keith Richards admired the band members individually, he did collaborate with Jimmy Page in 1974 on a track called Scarlet. Legend has it that the Rolling Stones had booked a studio session right after Led Zeppelin, and they walked in as Led Zeppelin were finishing up, but Jimmy Page decided to stick around for a while. They had a jamming session, which quickly turned into a demo track called Scarlet, supposedly named after Jimmy Page's daughter, whose, whose name is Scarlet. The song never saw the light of day until nearly 50 years after its recording. It eventually was released on the 2020 reissue of the 1973 album Goat's Head Soup. 50 years? Why did it take so long for this track to get released? Well, when Mick Jagger was asked that very question, he simply said it wasn't really a Stones record. Which is interesting, isn't it? It goes to show that each group had their own distinctive sound, and maybe that's why Keith Richards wasn't a fan of Led Zeppelin. Maybe it just genuinely wasn't his cup of tea. And his cup of tea, it definitely was not. As a band, uh, I felt that aptly named, uh, it, it never took off. That was recorded in 2004, and it wasn't a one-off. If you think his opinions might have softened with age, no, it didn't. In 2015, he had this to say to Rolling Stone magazine. I love Jimmy Page, but as a band, no. With John Bonham thundering down the highway in an uncontrolled 18-wheeler, Jimmy is a brilliant player, but I always felt there was something a little hollow about it. Hollow? Ouch. In direct response to this, Jimmy Page maintained his respect for Keith Richards. Keith can say what he wants. He's Keith Richards. I think he's done some amazing work. I respect his playing. I'm not sure what he means by calling Led Zeppelin hollow. I think he's got his tongue in his cheek. What we did was really cool. So Jimmy Page obviously quite good at taking it on the chin. And I love that. He can say what he wants. He's Keith Richards. That says a lot about the respect that Jimmy Page has for Keith Richards, despite Keith not being a fan of his music. And when it comes to Keith's musical opinions, he is very vocal and brutal. He labelled David Bowie a poser, absolutely slated Oasis's music, calling it obnoxious, 
had a very public feud with Elton John, belittling his songwriting, and even dissed Prince, calling him an overrated midget. Imagine having the balls to go against the flow on some of the world's most loved artists. But that's key for you. He's proven himself to be a top musician, so I guess he's earned the right to these opinions. Another sign of the Stones and Led Zeppelin's sound not quite resonating is the fact that the Rolling Stones never invited Jimmy or any other member of Led Zepp to perform on stage with them. And the Rolling Stones are well known for their vast array of guests who've joined them on the stage over the years. Elton John, despite what we talked about earlier, Amy Winehouse, Bo Diddley, Bob Dylan, Robert Cray, ACDC, Eric Clapton, Stevie Wonder, but never Led Zeppelin. Which I do find a bit odd, them being contemporaries and everything, you would have thought the Stones would invite them up for a performance, but no, never. And by the way, if you're a fan of the Rolling Stones having digs at other bands, you want to check out this video. It's all about their rivalry with the Beatles during the 60s and 70s, and I'll catch you next time on Music Mongoose. Bye!